What is going on guys? Grave here today. We'll talk about the field mic changes. Pretty much field mic got a buff while Ninja got a nerf. I'm not sure if everyone kind of paid attention to this yesterday with the patch notes. But as you guys can see now, of course, the field mic has not changed. Nothing any different here. Just still a listening device that highlights enemy sounds on your mini map. But before yesterday's update, before 108, um, Ninja was moved more quietly and you were immune to field mics. Now that has been removed. So even if a enemy is uh, running ninja and they come across your field mic, you're still going to be able to pick them up with that field mic, which is a game changer in my opinion. The reason I say that is because if you look at uh, the kind of field mic situation, uh, it was not really being used as much after everyone kind of unlocked ninja because everyone realized 99% of people in the game are going to have ninja on. Most people are going to use ninja before they even use ghost. So the first few days of the game being out, a lot of field mics were being put down. You could pick up a lot of people, but after everyone unlocked Ninja, the field mic kind of became useless. Uh, now you have the option of running the field mic, and it really probably being one of the best field upgrades in the game. I still think these jammer and the trophy system are good. You pretty much can use these three in any situation, in any game mode. You can't go wrong with them, but I think the field mic now is going to be one of the best in the game. And of course, you know, if you're wanting to use field mics, you always can use Gearhead. This is a perk that I always use. It's going to give your uh, field upgrades a kind of a reduced cooldown time. And within three to four minutes in a game, you can have two field mics, and you can put both of those out and cover a large area. And now that Ninja is not going to be, you know, a kind of immune to that field mic being out there, you're going to be able to pick up a lot of people and find out where a lot of people are a lot easier than you would have in the past. I think this is kind of Treyarch's counter to Ninja because so many people are using it. Like I said, I would say 99% of the players you come across have Ninja on. And, of course, I think they want the, the also the ability to be able to counter that in some way. I know it says it's not completely silent, but you tell me how many times you actually heard someone with a ninja on coming up behind you. Not very often. So, um, this, is a, like I said, this is a game changer. The only way that you really can counter ninja, and you can make a really good, uh, or a counter a field mic, and you can make a really good field, uh, class with this, is use Spycraft. I'm going to make a separate video about Spycraft. This is probably one of the most underrated and one of the most overpowered perks in the game right now. You can hack enemy field upgrades. You're immune to counter spy planes. You're immune to jammers. And now, of course, you're immune to field mic. So this got moved from Ninja to Spycraft. Tracker and Paranoia, you're also immune to those. And you won't trigger proximity mines or gas mines, and you can booby trap enemy care packages. You could run this with Ninja or this with Ghost, and Spycraft is going to be very, very handy. Because you're going to be immune to all of this stuff. You can run up on a field mic and actually hack it and turn it into yours and use it against the enemy. The good thing about this too is you can run engineer kind of paired with this where you can detect enemy score streaks through walls. And you can see enemy score streaks on your mini map. Uh, you also can reroll care packages. You'll be able to see that equipment through walls. Um, so engineer and I think spycraft, you'll start seeing these two run together a lot in game until they make some more changes to fill the field mic. It may not stay this way permanently, but as of right now, uh, most everybody uses Ninja, and this is kind of, if you had an entire team, just think about it, in 6v6 mode that was all running field mics, they could pretty much cover the map to a certain area, hide these from the enemy, and pretty much know where everyone's coming from, because even if you have Ninja on, you're still going to be detected. So you may want to think about changing some of your classes up, guys, like I said, running Engineer, running Spycraft, that way, you can see these field mics, and you also can hack them. Of course, leave me a comment with your thoughts. If you'd like to hit the like, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. And be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community Discord, my Twitter, and, of course, the affiliate here on the channel, GT Racing. I do have a link in the description that you can use. They do have a Christmas sale going on right now. So give them a look and see if maybe you can find something to kind of fit your gaming needs or something for somebody for a gift, you know, for Christmas or sometime after Christmas, whatever the case may be. And I'll catch you all next time.